And hello everyone from a filled up Supreme Court here on the campus of Ottawa Glendorf High School. We are set for boys basketball on this Saturday night. And what a big matchup we've got for you this evening as the 11 and two Titans of Ottawa Glendorf entertain the six and five Spartans of Lima Senior. With Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts, partner. This place was absolutely electric all the way through a JV game that included a buzzer beater <laughs> finish for the Spartans to win this one at the end of regulation. They're still on their feet. They're getting ready for what should be just an absolutely fantastic high school basketball game coming tonight. Uh, Randy Roberts it is a five-star matchup, and where else would you rather be than right here right now? Two teams just chock full of talent. It is going to be an outstanding event on the floor, and the atmosphere is absolutely electric it's going to be a lights out fun. We want to tell you that a pregame show is brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. All right, partner, let's talk a little bit about the Spartans of Lima seniors. We said coming in at six and five on our head coach, Quint Quincy Simpson have lost two of their last three coming into this one against a couple of pretty good teams, losing by 30 to Huber Heights, Wayne 72-42, and falling by three to Pickerington Central, 49-46. Well, one thing you always got to know about uh, Quincy Simpson is they are fantastic at, at picking out a schedule that will challenge themselves. So this is a, a Lima senior team that has a tough schedule, and uh, they love that fact that they're going to play tough uh, teams up and down and it gets them ready for these types of games. Uh, but a little bit of injury bug on them. They're not 100% healthy. It'll be interesting to see who's able to go here tonight. If they're fully healthy, this is going to be a lights-out type of game. This is a team scoring 68.5 points a game. And let's take a look at our keys to the game, brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac. What are these keys this evening for Lima Senior? Yeah, number one, no freebies. They have a tendency to turn over to basketball, and everybody knows that uh, Tyson McLaughlin's teams love to put pressure on you and turn that pressure into turnovers that result in made baskets and a layup line. So make sure you take care of the basketball. No freebies. Make sure that Ottawa Glendorf earns every single point. Number two, active hands. This is a very active defense at Lima Senior. They average 18 deflections a game. Get your hands on it. Get that Ottawa Glendorf offense out of sorts by playing the passing lanes. And then number three, Jolton Jagger. He's going to have to be big tonight. Jagger is a big time player. Jagger Hutchins, he is six foot seven. The junior uh, averages 10 points a game, Randy, seven rebounds. And here's the real important thing, two blocks a game. If he can uh, protect the rim tonight, it's going to mm -hmm. limit what OG can do because they love to dunk the basketball. And you talked a little bit about some starters. If we can, see if we can take a look at that starting lineup this evening for Lima Senior. Again, the Spartans coming in at 6-5 and five on the year. Miles, like you said, bit a little bit by the injury bug, so we're going to see what that lineup looks like. And we do notice their leading score not in the starting lineup tonight. Uh, it's a big problem if he's not going to play. That's 17 points a game. Uh, you got to have him uh, when you're going to get towards the tournament, so make sure he's healthy. Uh, Jaquel Cotton, don't know if you're going to see him 17 points a game, but he's not in the starting lineup. Also, Randy, seven rebounds, so that is a big loss. Mm -hmm. And you take a look at Simpson or Greer, it's going to be a, a pregame determination on which one of those guys is going to be able to go. So not the healthiest Lima senior team, but you know they're going to give a great effort. All right, let's turn our attention now to the Titans of Ottawa Glendorf. As we said at the top of our pregame, coming in at 11-2 and two in those two losses against some absolute heavyweights here in Northwest Ohio, falling to Lima Central Catholic 56-54 and also losing to Finley 49-47. You, you think about it, Randy, six more points and they're undefeated, right? They've lost two games, but boy, those were really tight. Let's take a look at the, their keys to the game. Team rebound. This is not a great rebounding team. Colin White, who's mostly a perimeter player, leads them with eight rebounds. So it's going to have to be five guys, especially on a defensive glass, because Lima Senior is very active. And number two, a feeding frenzy. You remember seeing sharks in the water and you're throwing chum and they just keep attacking and grabbing that chum? Well, that's what that Ottawa Glendorf pressure is like. You start having trouble against their pressure, it becomes a feeding frenzy. A two point lead can jump to 12 in a hurry. So make sure that you get that feeding frenzy going if you're OG and then Batman and Robin. Who's Batman and Robin? 
Colin White and Caden Erford. These two are crime fighters on the floor and off. They are fantastic players. Batman Colin White, 25 a game, eight rebounds, 54%, 36 from behind the arc. And Batman's partner, Robin, Caden Erford, he is unbelievable. He has got 16 points a game, six rebounds. Oh, and by the way, he buries the three ball at 35%. Batman and Robin going to be big here today. Erford also, by the way, leads the team with almost four assists tonight as well. Yeah, fantastic stuff. I, I'm fired up for this one. How about you? Well, let's take a look at that starting lineup tonight for the Titans of Ottawa Glendorf while we are mentioning them. I can't believe we've gone this far into our pregame. I know you brought up what Colin White can do. You said at 24.6 points, 25 a night. And also, Miles, how, how is it you've gone this long without mentioning where the young man's going to go play in at next year? Yeah, that's great, isn't it? He's going to be down in Columbus at the Ohio State University. Colin White is going to be in that scarlet and gray. Excited to see him. And he, he wouldn't be an official Ottawa Glendorf boys basketball game without a mag being in the starting lineup, would it, right? It, it would not. It yeah, would that not. is the case. So. Looking forward to what should be a good one. We're getting set. It's Lima Senior and Ottawa Glandorf. It's going to be coming up here in just a couple of minutes. And again, we want to tell you that a pregame show is brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have the opening tip for you here. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Randy and Miles back with you here, just about ready to go from the Supreme Court in Ottawa, Glanor. We want to tell you that our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Yeah, Pergolas well, almost got me, but I managed. That's Ultimate Outdoor. You're, you're the best at the read, that's for sure. And you know who's the best at pregame atmosphere? It, it might be this Ottawa Glendorf This group. place is loud and rocking. I, I don't know if we can show it. So if you've never been here to Ottawa Glendorf, there is a lower and upper level. So we are up with the upper level. Well, the student section starts at the bottom on the floor, goes up to the upper level. We can see the OG student section where the students would be. That entire section is completely empty, and it's empty because that's are all the young men and women standing on the floor as the tunnel. So this place, yeah, it has a, a flavor. Yeah, watch them go crazy for this guy right here, Colin White. And we are about ready to go. The steal a line from Gene Okerlund, Randy. You can feel the electricity, and you can cut it with a knife in this building. This has got such a big time feel. So looking forward to this one. Now they'll uh, take just a moment because the students that uh, did manage to get here early to get lower level student section seats are good to go. It is the ones who need the upper level who may have to take a minute. So yeah, nice uh, announcement during pregame also. Tyson McLaughlin mm -hmm. uh, earned his 300th win earlier in the week. That's a huge deal. Can you imagine? 300 wins in his young career. I mean, you look at him, he still looks like he's stress-free. <laughs> yes, uh, includes uh, two years at Miller City where I believe he won 29 or 30 games. And then coming over here to uh, Ottawa Glandorf where he has absolutely say, average 20 wins a year is our opening tip. Is in the air, controlled by the Titans, and we are underway. That's Walton that's going to draw Colin White right away for senior. Man-to-man -man defense, and you saw a little bit of a glimpse right there, Randy, how quick the hands are. Active hands, important for Lima Senior. Yeah, you saw it to Shad Greer knock that one away. Inbound's going to come in to White. A little spin of Rooney to start, but it rolls off the rim. Yeah, you wonder, how do you let 22 catch it five feet away on an inbound? A little bit of a miscommunication on defense. Quincy Simpson going to get the guys. Make sure 22 doesn't touch it that close. Now the lob's going to go into the low block left side. Tough shot in traffic up no good by Isaiah Wilson. As Titans come away with a miss. They're going to push in transition. This is the game they like to play. Both these teams get up around 60, 65, maybe 70 a game. And our first basket of the night is a three-pointer. Well, there's the man we called uh, Robin getting started right away. And, hey, you say, we got active hands too. A great job on the block, trailing it. That was uh, Grady getting back there and getting that one free. 
And the three-pointers tonight are brought to you by Dale's Concrete, called Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Tough uh, basket in. The paint is up and good as Greer able to score, and he'll have a chance to earn three the old-fashioned way. Shy Greer, great job, offensive rebounding. That's why you got to have team rebounding for Ottawa Glandorf. This is a very aggressive Lima senior team on the offensive boards. So here's Greer trying to tie this one up. Free throw is going to be no good. Rebound is knocked out of bounds, and it's going to belong to the Titans. We want to tell you this matchup, the 34th all-time between these two. Lima senior leads the all-time series 21-12. By the way, the Spartans have taken the last two by the absolute smallest of margins. A little full court man-to-man, -man, make you work to bring it up. No problem for the Titans. That's Tomazos, Grady Tomazos bringing it up. Tomazos with the basketball right now. Again, a junior. This is a team that's going to count on some younger guys, and they'll have to next year when they lose White, who... As Miles said, is going to go a few miles down the road south. White's going to lose the handle in the paint. It's a run out, and it's going to finish with a layup as Sean Foster will get the bucket for the Spartans. Yeah, Sean Foster, one of the young guys that is a bright future for senior. Picked it clean, and a good answer by Tomazos. Gets the bounce off the iron and in. Now 5-4 and four in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And back and forth, this one's going to go quickly. Hey, you love the pace early in this one. Let's get up and down, boys. Wilson makes it 6-5, and now a turnover, I think. What was the call here on the sideline? I miss it. Last touch by, ball. yeah, last touch by senior, so it's going to stay with OG. But if you are Ottawa Glandorf, you better do a better job of protecting your dribble because a senior, they are all hands and feet getting on top of you. Erford will do the inbounding. Now the official telling a Deshaun Greer, he's got to give a little bit of space. The inbound does come in. Tomazos with it, back to White from the corner. Three balls, not going to go. And the Spartans get the rebound, and now they're going to look to push. However, they are held up near the timeline, and they'll have to set up in the half court. And going a little five out. Now they're going to morph into a low post, see if they can get Jagger Hutchins a touch. Hutchins had the ball momentarily, gives it off into the corner. Hutchins goes opposite side. Now the pull-up jumper from the wing is up and good by Jay Walton. That was one of those shots when Walton went up, you're like, oh, this was a wasted trip, but then he buries it from about 15, and another steal by Senior. Yep, Erford's going to lose the handle. Walton with the pass inside for Hutchins, and Hutchins able to score. So five players for the Spartans have already scored as they have. OG doubled up 10-5. Short jumper from the wing's going to be no good. Put back, rolls out, but we're going to get a whistle and a foul. Well, I think OG is really surprised at the quickness. Everybody talks about it with Senior, but until you're actually on the floor against them, surprised by that quickness and very fortunate that Colin White was able to come up with that rebound because it could have been another run out the other direction. The balance of the floor was in favor of Senior. And you saw that replays. The first free throw from White is good. Our instant replays tonight are brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. And our free throws brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years. The offices downtown Lima and Bluffton. Second toss is good. Now 10-7 our score here. Three ball from the corner. That one's going to miss everything is... The Spartans go quick in now. The Titans will bring it into the front court. Here's White. Well, Shimmy's going to lose the handle again. It's the second time he's had it poked away from him. And now the Spartans at midcourt are going to have, well, we're going to have a foul at least. Uh, the, the community here with the audible, oh, on this call right here, everybody all at once. They're going to call it on Schrader and, Everybody here from Ottawa Glandor thought that was going to be a clean steal and then a little bit of styling and profiling for an easy layup. But referee said, nope, you got too much body. So that is his first team second foul. As the Spartans trying to find a little bit of room. Right now they're just kind of going side to side. 
Off a screen, ball's gonna go into the corner, three ball on the way, that one's gonna be no good. Erford comes up with a miss. Now you better bring your man card if you're gonna get a rebound tonight against a Senior because they are going to jam everything. There's not gonna be a free rebound and an automatic outlet pass. They're gonna jam that every time they got. If you don't have that man card with you today, it's gonna be, result in another turnover. Ball's into the hands of Colin White, walks it into the front court. Fine, Brody Fortman, Erford with it. Erford sends it top of the keys, they reverse it around, here's White with it again. White gives up top of the key, three ball from Wagner is gonna be off the mark. Spartans get this one, they'll push with Foster. Foster gets the kick out. Here's Hutchins for three, that one's gonna be no good. Rebound is fought for, and we're gonna have a whistle. A defensive rebounding. An issue early in this game for Otto Glandorf. He saw another offensive rebound, and it's gonna result in a foul because you can't control the glass. Foul's gonna go on Erford. That's gonna be his third, team's first. As off the inbound, quick shot is no good. And here's White again. Colin White spins, gets into the paint, <laughs> count the bucket, the chance at a three-point play. Uh, you can't let him get going downhill. It is, this has been a great job by Walton all night long until this moment. You're standing flat-footed. He's got a head of steam. He's just going to put you in the spin cycle and get you a three-point opportunity. That was outstanding spin -a rooney by Colin White. White now at the Web Insurance Agency free throw line, knocks down the free throw. He has five points already tonight. As senior goes quick. I barely have time to even mark things down on my scoring as they're able to score as Jagger Hutchins will finish. A very fortunate for Senior after the miss by Greer. Hutchins able to come up with a steal and give them the lead again. White comes to the wing. Pass goes into the corner, Erford. Erford trying to work that baseline is now double teamed. Great shot by our camera crew right there to look right into that. Ball's then lost in midcourt and the Titans will get it back. Tomazos. Making sure, head on a swivel, he knew there was going to be some active hands there. Now, first time they are able to use a ball screen to get Walton off of Colin White. And White recognized he had a little bit of a mismatch with Greer on him. He's going to use Greer to pick up the foul right here. And the foul's going to go on Greer, the sophomore. A little bit of a curly lemon action right there, dribbling on the ground, right? Is that what you said a couple weeks ago? I think curly so, lemon? Right. We sure it's not curly, Neil? It is curly, Neil. Had uh, college basketball earlier today, and that story came up. So Miles is still, don't make a mistake in front of Miles. He'll make <laughs> you pay. It was a great moment, though. Speaking of great, watch the quickness on the baseline right there. But better defense by Walton to get a hand on the shot on White. Spartans are going to walk this one into the front court now with Wilson. Isaiah Wilson will send it off to the left wing. As Noah Simpson in for the first time tonight. With Erford on top of Hutchins, I'd like to see Senior take Hutchins down to the low block and see if he can get Erford on that mismatch, get him in a little bit of foul trouble. So we got a quick timeout. We want to tell you that our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So with a timeout on the floor, we'll take one as well. 12-10, our opening quarter here on WOSF. 12-10, our score here, 221 left to go in our opening quarter. We want to tell you that the game tonight, brought to you by Matt's Heating and Cooling, is your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Well, spin a Rooney right there. Hutchins has that one, spin a Rooney off the rim. And Colin White comes up with the basketball. I think Quincy Simpson heard me on the last possession. Let's get Hutchins involved. Had a good look, just couldn't make it. Now Colin White, top of the keys, thinking about the three, a little hesitation move, trying to take on three defenders, get the dump down. Nice job without the basketball. Getting to the rim was Alex Wagner, couldn't get it to fall. Tough break for the uh, Titans, and now foul coming on the other end of the floor. Yeah, Wagner, point blank range, got to make those bunnies in a matchup like this. And this is one of the problems that uh, OG has had in their two losses against LCC and Finley. It is guards going down the lane in a quick manner. That time Isaiah Wilson 
was able to get to it on the left-hand side. So Isaiah Wilson knocks down the first of two Web Insurance Agency free throws. They're going to have to do a much better job of closing that door at the elbow of the free throw line for OG. Can't let Senior continue this drive and drive again. Now second free throw on its way, and that one is good. So Wilson with four points. As we will see Kalik Wash enter for the first time tonight. Spartans up by four on our scoreboard tonight. Again, brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Now the officials holding a play. I'm not sure what Coach McLaughlin has. So Wondering if there was a substitution that wasn't reported. The officials were pointing to the front court. Well, whatever it is, they figured it out. Looks like we're good to go. This is where we need, like, on ESPN, where they run up and tell the, the announcers what, what was going on, have the announcers run up and tell us what the decision was. Good lob inside, a little bit under the basket for Erford. Erford through a triple team is able to, I believe, draw a foul as we see the simple fly flooring replay. Yeah, it's going to be the, the third man in right there. Didn't need it because Erford had found himself way too far underneath the basket. Senior doing a great job contesting five feet and in. Erford trying to spin, step inside the free throw line. That one doesn't go. And it's Hutchins comes up with a miss. And Simpson will bring this into the front court. Simpson at the wing. He's got a spin, holds high, gets the kick out. Here is the three ball. That one's going to be off the mark. No good, but an offensive rebound grabbed by Noah Simpson. Simpson getting into the paint, gets the kick out. As Walton will have it. Walton trying to go one-on-one -on -one back to Hutchins. And now the Spartans will reset with under a minute left to go in our opening quarter. How about the pull-up jumper? Step inside the arc. That's going to be no good. And Colin White has the miss. And with everyone in the front court, he'll have to bring it up court himself. That's kind of one of those we were frustrated on offense jumpers. White trying to stick that one in from 15 feet. Can't get it. Second effort from downtown. Left short. And now foul on the rebound after it was controlled by Jay Walton. Uh, kind of a tough shooting night so far for Colin White. A little bit short on the three. And then he's going to jump over top and contact uh, Walton, who's going to go to the free throw line. You can tell Ottawa Glandorf it really bothered by the athleticism by senior early in this basketball game. So here is Walton at the line. That is going to be the fifth foul, first on White. So the bonus in effect here, 34.3 seconds to go in the opening quarter. As the first free throw is no good by Walton. Again, our free throws. Brought to you by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Second free throw misses as well, so Walton comes up empty. Well, how about the student section? You will miss, you will miss, you will miss. Sure did. Here is the Titans with it as Tabazos being absolutely hounded right in front of that Lima bench. Uh, rough call for Senior on this one. They thought it was going to at least be a jump ball. Uh, how many times early in this game, especially on the right-hand side of the floor, have we seen two senior defenders kind of corral an OG dribbler? And that's part of the game plan here tonight. Here's Tommaso set the line to shoot two, as that is the fifth team foul on Lima Senior. First one is no good, and our free throws again. Brought to you by Webb Insurance Agency. The first miss of the year at the free throw line for Tommaso's right there. It, it, it kind of appears, Randy, that both teams a little bit just too tight yeah, early yeah. in this basketball game. Got to relax, just play basketball the way you know how. So Tommaso's at the line, will just have the second one rim out. A little bit of an amped crowd. I know this is about the, the normal crowd for an OG game as they draw very well, but this is a little bit special 
And watch the high ball screen coming soon. Got a couple of them. Pull up three is going to be no good. And that's how our opening quarter will end. So, Alima Senior able to take the early lead. 14-10 after one. We'll take a break here in WOSN. 14-10 after one. Lima Senior with a lead over Ottawa Glendorf. When we do have a uh, three-pointer made tonight, it is a Dales Concrete three-point shot. Call Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Should we? I, I don't want to mention bricks. And I was thinking the same I thing. Know, it was, yeah. Yeah. I've had a lot of Dales bricks. Trying to get this one into the cutter. Nice job staying inbound by Sean Foster under the basket. Gets the kick out into the corner. So the Spartans will have the basketball first. Back out, and we might see it. It's one blocked. I thought maybe we are going to get the Dales concrete three right there. And credit Wagner for staying on the floor to the last second. Uses that left hand to come over the big block for OG. Colin White with the basketball. Now kind of pointing and shouting, getting everyone set offensively. And now foul as Deshaun Greer tried to run right through a screen. Now, it's good to be physical, but you can't be this physical. Watch Greer. You can't go through a screen by two-hand shoving a cat in the chest. That's going to be Greer's second. Keep an eye on him because he is important to what they do defensively. And again, our instant replays tonight brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Erford off the inbound finds White. Colin White trying to get into the corner. Now he's going to double back out to the wing. Tries to get a screen. Still working around the perimeter. Cuts off at the free throw line. I thought he recognized Greer's on him. Greer's still on him. See if he can get Greer's third. White double team sends it over the top. Little ball fake there. And now the kick out. Here's Wagner for three. That one's going to be no good. Rebound spot for. Falling down was Ross Mag trying to get a shot up, but the third effort's going to be up and good. Yeah, really the first time tonight, Ottawa Glendor, very active on the offensive glass, able to get a big contribution right there off of another offensive rebound. That is four points tonight now for Grady Tomazos. So the Titans pulled this one within two on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Spartans take their time offensively here in this early possession in the second quarter. Uh, they had Greer inside with a lob, but they missed him. Uh, there's, a, there's a really forced shot. Wish they'd have that one up back. I'm sure Quincy Simpson not happy with that one. Yeah, tried to force one with the left hand. Now we've got whistles and all sorts of action here. We will separate the bodies. Now I think they're going to whistle Erdford. That'll be his second. As the officials are going to hear it from this crowd. Yeah, maybe the official's first name is Lou. And they're just saying, hey, yeah, good call, Lou. I'm sure that's exactly what it is. Yeah, Tyson McLaughlin, he was not happy with that one as well. He's still giving the officials an earful here. So if two guys are diving for the basketball and nobody gets the advantage and there's contact, I kind of get it. Let it play on, right? Mm -hmm. So now with the – had a substitution at the table they wanted to take care of. So 14-12 on our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, rack, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens. Another loose ball on the floor. This is going to lead to a whistle, and the travel is going to be the call. I was waiting for the tie-up, but the officials are going to say that Alex Wagner had possession and then rolled all the way over and traveled. Uh, the faithful here at the Supreme Court don't like that call, but it's the right one because he leaves a pivot foot off the ground by rolling, and when you roll, that is a travel. The ball was not tied up. Spartans retain the possession. Here's Hutchins in the corner trying to hit that three-pointer. That one's going to be a little too strong. White wins the battle for the rebound, and we're going to get a nice Bronx cheer on the foul call. <laughs> a really subtle move by Colin White, but it's going to result in getting a 
A foul on Walton. Did you see the little body twist when he was coming down with the basketball to make it look like Walton was on his back? Boy, that is a well-schooled basketball player that knows the fine points of the game. So that is the uh, second foul on uh, Jai Walton. His white top of the key. He's going to back up, reset the offense. Pull-up jumper from the elbow. Can't get that one to stick. Rebound is tipped. Titans get it back. Second opportunity. Back to White under the basket. Double clutches. Able to get that one up and in. Now you got to credit Brady Fortman, though, for the back tap. Keeping that possession alive. And here we go with a little Ottawa Glendorf pressure. Three-quarter court. Oh, the Titans able to, I'm sorry, the uh, Spartans able to break it. A little step through is no good. Second effort's no good. And now Reach is going to be called here on Jagger Hutchins. Now Hutchins is going to get caught going over the back. And both teams are intense. Don't like any call being called on them. That's you, the, you saw the frustration in Jagger's face. It's the second foul on Hutchins, third of the quarter. Whistled against the Spartans here, 450 and counting left to go. Second quarter in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. He's white from the wing, pulls up again from the elbow. And speaking of elbows, I believe he might have been hit on the elbow. Nice little spin dribble, come back one on one, a little jab and get away. And gonna get uh, Walton, and this is a huge moment for a senior because Walton has done a really good job on Colin White. However, that's his third foul. So White will go to the free throw line, brought to you by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton, where the first free throw is good for White. He's got eight points here in this opening half. Now, a little bit of a decision time now for Quincy Simpson, the head coach as senior. Who are you going to put on Colin White? And Walton really locked him up for the first six, seven minutes of this basketball game. Colin White, no trouble there. So he's got five good free throws, now a turnover. And the Titans, for the first time, will have an opportunity to lead by more than one possession. Ball comes over to Wagner. Wagner's going to get rid of it, and now we're going to get a whistle. And we've got something. It was called away from the basketball. I think it's going to stay here. Only I think the officials might have heard something from someone. Are they? Is there a problem with the clock? Uh, they we're pointing to the scoreboard, so. Saw the official pointing. I thought maybe someone had said something, but yeah, you are right. They're pointing more towards the scoreboard. Maybe the shot clock didn't reset. At some point in time. You joke, but it's coming. It is. It's, it's going to come <laughs> at some point in time, a shot clock in high school basketball. It is slowly, I believe, Kansas, the latest state. Right. To Illinois institute. last year yeah. and Kansas this year. and I, I would be in favor of it. I couldn't believe not only did Kansas uh, institute the shot clock, 35 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, you better, better know what you're doing offensively. So... Titans, after everything's taken care of, have the basketball. A little bit of a weave action and a screen away from the pass. And as Tommaso's trying to get to the bucket, we'll get a whistle and a foul. And watch Tommaso's right here. He's going to turn the corner, and he's going to get a little bit of a push. And they're going to say the foul was on, on Dixon, number 32. Yeah, it's a, kind of a break because it, it looked like it might have been a foul on Sean Foster, who was kind of pushing underneath. And, and Sean Foster is a guy that needs to stay on the floor for senior. So Tommaso is able to knock down the first Web Insurance Agency free throw. And it's Noah Simpson coming back in, a, a, another one of these young players, a freshman. And you see the beautiful pink sneakers on him. I tell you what about these senior guys, the sneaker game is strong. The Spartans know their sure, sneakers. Yeah. We saw quite a then you see it on the floor, quite a few different colors. You see some red, some blue, a couple pinks. That's a uh, good look for the Spartans. Hey, look good, play good, right? That's right. Our producer, Jennifer Keep Back, JKB, she was all on it in pregame. She noticed it. Speaking of look good, play good. And a little touch foul. 
Well, Tomazo's gonna pick up the foul. That's gonna be his first, I believe. Yeah, referees have cleaned it up out on perimeter. Remember early in the game, you could really ju ju jab guys and hit them and be real physical. Since then, they, they have cleaned it up. And how about that Dale's concrete and decorative stamping three-pointer? Isaiah Wilson, release rotation and a big time splash. Senior needed that one, ties it back up. Tomazzo skips behind him for White. Colin White trying to get into the lane. A little double clutch Ooh. going up over Hutchins. Able to fill it up. Uh, makes the basket and then signals to the guys what defense they're in and another turnover. Uh, trying to wait for everyone else. Here's White flying to the lane. Not quite a dunk that we were looking for, but he gets the bucket. Yeah, he hung in the air, though. Made it look pretty. A little style points. By the way, when we do get a dunk tonight, it is Ali's famous recipe chicken dunk, and we understand that JKB had a conversation with the young man from OG about that this evening. That's right. Colin said he'd see if he can get her some mentions on the dunk. That's right. Now we've got a hand check and a push. So, Randy, when I'm at Lee's, I like to take my chicken finger and dunk it into the mashed Ooh, potatoes and gravy. Go. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'm telling you, the mashed potatoes there are very, very underrated. And I know you were a big uh, a macaroni and cheese guy as well. Who's not? Right? right, especially there. Chicken fingers are solid. That is for sure. Uh, the last foul is on Colin White. And anytime there's a foul on Colin White, it's a near riot here at Ottawa Glandorf. Tough runner. That one's going to be up and good. Isaiah Wilson. Wilson having himself a pretty good day. Yeah, back-to-back -back big baskets for Wilson. And now a little bit of zone by Senior. Recognized by Ottawa Glandorf. And you see Colin White look over at Tyson McLaughlin and say, Coach, what do you want to run? You know what gets people out of his zone, right? Standing. A perimeter jumper. A three. If you got the lead, too, you can pull the ball out and say, we're going to force you to come play man-to-man. -man. And that's what it looks like. Noah Simpson's going to have to go up and get close to Colin White, so the referee then has to get a five count. Well, they're in no hurry to do that right now. Under two minutes left to go, opening half on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. As White just holds that basketball, still has his dribble, is elected not to use it yet. And we were saying shot clock earlier, weren't we? <laughs> this is perhaps why. The Titans will hold on to this one. Yeah, it is tough to stay in a 2-3 zone when you're down because uh, the opponent, all they have to do is just pull the basketball out and, and let the clock drip down. It's done that so far. About 50 seconds has been run off the clock. And if... As OGs think it is, if Lima Senior wants to help them keep the lead at the half, we'll, we'll take it. It definitely shortens a game. Remember, Senior, though, had a little bit of foul trouble, so this kind of helps them out, shortens the game. They're shorthanded also with Jaquel Cotton not being in the lineup. That looks like OG now going to get some kind of plan here against a 2-3. Quincy Simpson, light, nice little move there, switching guys on the baseline. And that's going to allow the Titans to move people around. They're going to play for a final shot, so I feel like we have the opportunity to tell you while they're waiting, is your home in the energy efficient zone. Speaking of zones, call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Did you see Colin White looking at Coach with the shooting motion? Coach, you just want me to hit a three and end all this? I think he's saying I'll, I'll hit the end of the half shot. Well, it's going to get initiated at 10 here. They do see some movement out of Tomazos. Tomazos will find White. There's White from the wing. White trying to get in. Step back. Three-pointer. Buries it at the horn. What a big Dales concrete and decorative stamping three to end the half. On cue as White predicted. Hits it. And we're at 24-19 at the break. How silly was that? We were at two minutes, and he just looked at Coach. Coach, I'll go ahead and hit it. And he said, all right, let's, let's, let's let you do it, but we're going to wait till the very last second. Oh, falling away, hand in the face. No big deal. Colin White, big time. And our halftime brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delmas, and St. Mary's. 
Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Halftime from the Supreme Court, 24-19. Titans lead this one by five, and we'll take a break on WOSN. Halftime here from the Supreme Court, 24-19 as on cue. The big three-pointer there, and we want to tell you that our halftime is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delvis, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. I'll partner this one as advertised so far after 16 exciting minutes of basketball. Yeah, a lot of little drama there at the end of the half, right? You're going to play 2-3 against us. We're going to pull it out. We're going to stare each other down for a little bit. And then, okay, well, it's like Callan Berry, a corner three. Uh, fantastic. Uh, dramatic stuff, dramatic moment right there. And it really negates the fact that uh, Lima Sr. has played extremely well in this first half. Mm -hmm. Think about this, all right? This was a tremendous game, still is. But when uh, three fouls were whistled on uh, Walton, that changed the complexion. And everything from there was dominated by OG, thus the five-point lead. By the way, I wanted the, the announcer cam. I like what the magic of TV does where one guy standing, one guy sitting, and we still look the same height. So <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, one, one of us is standing, one of us is sitting, yet we both look like we're 6'5", which we'll both take. So. Now, the best is when I, I practice <laughs> boxing out against you. That was fun. So 24-19, that's Miles. I bring it an exciting opening half of basketball. We're going to be here in the Supreme Court a handful of times through the uh, second half of the season as uh, the, the Titans – try to take control of the WBL and uh, talk about uh, beefing uh, so beefing up the schedule. I don't know if that's the word you want to use because OG has always kind of had that anyone, anytime, anywhere mentality. But they've had, you know, the, the Winter Classic has exploded. Right. You know, the, the teams that they bring in there, obviously uh, Finley, and I know that's a thing that's been going on now five, six years. Lima Senior coming back. Uh, they're not afraid of anything or anyone, and that certainly is the case here tonight at all. you got to like the philosophy, right? You get challenged during the regular season, so when you get to the tournament time, you are battle-hardened. So you do, you're not uh, kind of so flummoxed by any type of behavior that you see. You're ready to go. All the challenges, everything that you've seen, you're ready to go, and you have that fury to go ahead and conquer what's in front of you. So it's a great philosophy, but at the same time, you got to have the talent to win. And this OG team does. And one of the reasons why they do, you saw it down there. Look at all the young people shooting basketballs at halftime. The tradition here is fantastic. Yeah, and it dates back quite a ways. As uh, you know, you talk to you, anytime you get the chance to talk to Tyson McLaughlin, the head coach here, he was he was one of those guys as well. So it's uh, it means a lot to him. So 24-19, our score at the break. And again, our halftimes have brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken with locations in Lima, Wapak, Devis, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll get you set for the second half in this heavyweight bout between OG and Lima Senior here on WOSN. 24-19, Ottawa Glandorf leads Lima Senior here as our halftime winds down. We want to ask you, is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Speaking of zones, as I segue into zone defense because I'm good at my job, partner, what you think of that zone defense and what OG was able to do there, that final possession? Uh, I think you probably won't see it again for a while. Uh, it did shorten the quarter a little bit for Lima Senior, but the result was a, a big-time three by Colin White. And, any coach would tell you to get teams out of his own, just bury a really nice perimeter jumper. It makes them think twice. The Colin White was 16 of the 24 for the Titans. We'll open with a basketball as we begin the second half. The Titans trying to snap two-game losing streak to the Spartans. White's going to get in to the low block. That is up no good. Someone that might have been White as well trying to reach in for the putback. Couldn't get that to go either. And now the Spartans bring this into the front court. Isaiah Wilson will flip a short pass to the wing. Now Wilson calls for it back. Wilson trying to get to the basket. A little bump on his way, and I don't think that's going to count. Well, I think the top side official. Well, they put it on yeah. the scoreboard. They Watch must it. have. Boom, left hand on the finish. A little smooch oh. off the window. Top side My official apologies. went over and said, yes, count that. Great start for senior. Go back to Mr. Wilson because Mr. Wilson was fantastic in that second quarter. So Wilson with the basket, and you saw that instant replay brought to you 
by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. The Web Insurance Agency free throw is off the market again. A free throw is brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. White with a handoff. Here's Erford. Erford's been held in check for the most part. Of course, White's done most of the damage again. 16 of the 24 points scored. Well, on the switch, Hutchins did a really good job of staying in front of Colin White. There's Wilson again trying to go off the high glass. And we'll see what the simplified flooring replay tells us. And I see the charge right underneath. And Wilson going to get called. He launched himself, not recognizing that Ottawa Glendorf was in position to get the charge. Big call. It's going to be his first, team's first here. Minute gone by so far in our third quarter. Tomazo skidded to a stop. There's Colin White. White off the wing. About a little reverse layup up and good. Now that time he recognized Hutchins had switched on to him. So you take the big fella off the dribble. Great finish on the reverse. Good pass into the middle of the floor to break that pressure. And three ball is going to be no good. White flies in for the rebound. Flip a pass ahead. Tomazo thought about the three. Now Moore pushing and shoving as White starts a dribble drive. Now watch White continue to move. Gets the pass right here. Sees Hutchins on him again. Says, big guy, you're going to have to slide your feet if you're going to guard me. Foul's going to go on Jagger Hutchins. That's going to be his third. 6.25 left to go in the third quarter and our scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens. Pergola is going to get me at some point tonight. You're rock solid. Trying to find somewhere to go with the basketball was Alex Wagner. Wagner opened at the wing, got rid of it quickly again, and now we're going to get more contact as Kate Nerford with a uh, curly lemon dribbling. Yeah, Erford, it exhibition. looks like he's going to lose it a little bit, but he made it look worse than it was. Greer's going to get whistled for that foul. You're going to want to keep track of foul trouble moving forward for senior. And we're going to get another foul here. Yeah, it's a really nice inbound design on the side out of bounds. Erford with a backdoor pass. It was Wilson that was overplaying Colin White. And Colin White gets himself to the line. So he's going to shoot a couple of free throws brought to you by Web Insurance Agency. He'll get the first. A senior going to go a little bit small with Jagger Hutchins now going over the bench with those three fouls. Noah Simpson checks back in. A little more athletic, but definitely a smaller lineup here for senior. So White able to knock down both free throws. So seven of his 20 have come from the charity stripe. It's a seven-point lead for the Titans. Now 28-21 as we roll under 5 and 40. Left to go third quarter. A great job by Walton moving the zone, the zone pressure around with that little up fake pass. Pull up three is going to be no good, but another offensive rebound. Well, hesitation move, trying to get that off the window. Can't get it to go, and now we've got a whistle as there is a little fighting going on for the rebound. Uh, Isaiah Wilson, one-on-one -on -one against Mag. Says, young fella, I'm going to take you to the hole. If I'm Lima Senior, though, and I'm Quincy Simpson, I say Isaiah Wilson, dude, go to the rim anytime you want because uh, they have had a tough time stopping you. His quickness, Randy, he is quicker than a hiccup. Well, Colin White picks up the foul. That's going to be his third. And now three from the corners, no good. But the offensive rebound when the defender slides down. Bunnies up, no good. Out of Deshaun Greer. The ball's going to go out of bounds. Yeah, watch Greer just outwork Erford right there. Go up and get the rebound, but he can't finish. Boy, that's about the third bunny in this game at point blank range for Lima Senior not be able to convert. Titans able to bring this into the front court. Here's the lob down to the low block. Erford with a spin, lost the handle. It's out of bounds and a turnover as the Spartans will come away with a basketball. Yeah, other than that opening three-pointer by Erford, it, it has been a frustrating night for him on the offensive end. Spin dribble looked effective, but 
the turnover out of bounds, save senior. So Walton, the pass gets us into the front court and lob underneath, and that time, little finger roll up and good by Deshaun Greer. Yeah, move that zone back to fourth with the passing. And they're gonna pick up a little, as our good friend Bill Raftery says, a little nickel dimer at the top. It's already the fourth team foul this quarter, so that, I'm sorry, that is the fifth. Late putting it on the board, so that means the Titans will be in the bonus for the final 440 of the quarter. So here is Grady Tomazos at the line to shoot the Web Insurance Agency free throw. He will knock down second free throw of the night. Now, big step forward for Tomazos tonight. At only averages six points a game, already at seven. Now 29, make it 30 to 23. As we get to the four and a half minute mark, here's a three ball, that one left short. Another offensive rebound pulled down by Deshaun Greer. So he's working hard under the basket for the Spartans. Yeah, Greer goes up, just outworks to Erford again. And there is a lid on the rim for Greer here tonight. Yeah, point blank range. Yep. The basketball karma though is gonna reward him at some point in time because the dude is working hard on the offensive glass. He's gonna step back and try from the Web Insurance Agency free throw line. That's what he needs to do, because he gets that one. So he's got five points now tonight. Of course, wearing that big brace on the left-hand shoulder. You know, he's got to be not 100% when you're wearing that. Does get both free throws. And here comes Colin White back in after his long 30-second rest. Look, I get it. If I'm Tyson McLaughlin and he's not on the floor, I'm nervous too. Man, Colin, you okay? All right, get, get out there. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Long enough? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and play. He's out there with three fouls and a five-point lead for the Titans. Cut off on the baseline, kick out. Here's Tomazos. Misses the three. Rebound is tipped. Goes right into the hands of Alex Wagner. Wagner's pass on the top. Taken away. And our first. Lee's famous recipe chicken dunk of the night. A little dunk delicious. Yes, you can, Sean Foster. Foster now with four. I thought White was trying to match. Had a lane. He's going to back out his defender. Instead, he'll just shoot over the top of everyone and knock down the bucket. Now, you forget that he's 6'6", right? Because he plays so smooth like a guard. And then just rises over top of everybody. But you knew who else can rise. That's Sean Foster. Dude's got some springs in those feet. So 32-27 here in our third quarter. We've got a Metzger Financial Services timeout, and we'll take a break here on WOSN. Well, we finally saw one tonight. We got our first dunk, and when we get our dunks tonight, they are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, alive at Wapak, Devas, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Also had ourselves a Metzger Financial Services timeout, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And now a little 2-3 employed by Ottawa Glandorf. Sending out over top that ball screen to make it difficult. You see Coach Simpson trying to get someone to go to the el is it go to the elbow or is the play the elbow? Yeah. Uh, they're looking for an elbow screen, and why not get it to Foster? And take the long three. That's going to be no good. White comes off with a miss, and now Colin White's going to walk this into the front court. White top of the key, nearly tied up. Left it underneath, and that one's then going to be ripped away from Ross Meg. but it looks like we're going to have ourselves a foul. I remember Greer saddled a little bit of foul trouble as well, so he can't be really aggressive on Colin White up top. And Colin White has made a living here in the second half, getting to the middle of the lane and then doing his work from there. So Ross Meg, 6'3", junior at the line, where he will knock down his first free throw. Now you remember Theo Mag, how good he was mm -hmm. here? Boy, he was a rebounding machine. 
And again, our free throws tonight brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Spartans are taking a little bit of time this trip. Now, made it look like a man, but back to the zone. Recognized by Quincy Simpson and see what they come up with here to get a, a good shot. Thought they had a good shot on the last possession, but Foster was just a little too strong. Now they'll get Foster at the point as OG will get active with that zone. You see it move side to side. There's the skip pass over the top to Simpson. A nice job testing that middle seam. Foster tried to see where he could go out to Wilson. They're calling out an elbow screen coming up here. Wilson steps back, fires away. That one gets it. And we have our first Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping three-pointer of the quarter. Call Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs as we get another Metzger Financial Services timeout. So we'll take one as well. 33-30 in our third quarter. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. 33-30, this one's gone back and forth. Ottawa Glando over the lead over Lima Senior. And our replays tonight are brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Yeah, and what's made it simple is Isaiah Wilson. See, you know, Coach, again, sitting at 2-3, it doesn't matter. I'll hit the three on the perimeter. And he must have family here in Ottawa Glandorf because he got a little friendly roll on that rim. A little bounce, bounce, and nothing but the net at the end of it. Yeah, soft rim's no good shooter. A great crowd. We've mentioned it. Uh, I don't know. We heard rumors of sellout, and then we told it wasn't sold out, but uh, don't see a whole lot of empty what would be seats around. A great atmosphere for high school basketball on this Saturday night. Pass along the baseline is tipped, but it does make it to its target in Tomazos. Tomazos from the elbow, oh, oh, oh. buries from 15 feet. Uh, people have been saying all year long that Ottawa Glandorf nerds needs a third guy to score. Uh, Tomazos might be that guy. He's now up, already up to 10. Yeah, he's, that's what I was going to say. He's got 10 tonight now. 35 30 with 90 seconds to go in our third quarter. Here's Greer gets the kick out. Greer working. In that paint, comes back out to the free throw line as they reverse it into the corner. Ball fake got the defender up now. Another three-pointer. That one's going to be no good, but we're going to have a whistle going for the rebound. I think they're going to say Greer tried to fight over top. A, a good box out, and that's going to be the foul. And unfortunately for Mr. Greer, that's going to be his fourth foul. Uh, puts Quincy Simpson yet again in a bad decision. He's had a lot of tough decisions to make here tonight with a short-handed short -handed bench. It's also the uh, team's fifth, so Brody Fortman, who's been held scoreless, will go to the line to shoot two. First one is good, so he will score tonight. 75% on the free throw line this year for Fortman. It's going to lead to a couple of changes for Lima Seniors. Caden Hampton will see some action. Stacy Dixon, who played a little bit in the opening half, comes back in. Fortman buries the second. An important last minute to this quarter for if you're senior. Uh, don't let OG stretch this thing out to double digits going into the fourth. Try to get it back to a five or four point game. Now, not in a whole lot of a hurry to challenge against that zone. They'll just answer with a big Dale's concrete three-pointer. Oh, that was a huge shot. Gets us back to four. I, Javon Walton likes two. He likes two, but he really loves the three. So Walton with a big one there. Makes it 37 to 33. Now all sorts of contact. As the official, we're gonna see this replay. Official had one foot on the court as Quincy Simpson's trying to say that he's a part of the floor, and I don't think he's going to win this argument. I was a little more worried about uh, Walton and the contact. His head snapped back. That looked like it hurt. Bad break for seniors. It looked like it was going to be a runaway for Walton. 
So 37 to 33, under 30 seconds to go in our third quarter. That is Foster on Colin White right there. Uh, see that left hand. A little surprise the officials allowed him to get away with it. White gets into the paint, dump off into the corner. Dale's country three rims out as Levis Sr. comes up with a miss. Can't get a shot off, and that's how our third quarter will end. So 37 to 33, OG clings to a four point lead. We'll see what happens in our fourth quarter. We'll have it for you when we return here on WOSN. 37-33 our score, Ottawa Glando over the lead over Lima Senior here as we get set for our fourth quarter when we have a timeout and I don't know, something tells me there might be a couple here in this final period. It is a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Help you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. A really good job by Senior when it was about a seven point margin, getting the three, cutting it down to four. Ottawa Glandorf looked like they were poised to seize this game, but Senior reminded them, we can shoot from the perimeter as well. So it will be Spartan basketball as we begin the fourth quarter here in our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So they're gonna work this into the corner. Three ball on the way, that one's gonna be no good. Rebound was knocked out of the hands of Wagner and the Spartans will get it back. Here's one out of bounds. It's gonna force Lima Senior to inbound. Well, an extra possession because of Walton's work on the weak side, getting that rebound. Walton will do the inbounding. Just gets it into Sean Foster. Foster now will find Wilson. Wilson trying to get that screen. There it is, flips it over. Two Foster goes into the corner, three on the way, and the big Dales concrete detective stamping three is good. And Noah Simpson, 46% from behind the arc, 100% that time. The young fella stepping up at big moments. Makes it a one point game now, here's White. Colin White turn around in the paint, and the floater is good. Yeah, I just can't let him catch it that deep, especially when you're carrying some fouls, you can't uh, foul him in that position. Easy look for Colin White. 24 now for Colin White. Stretches the lead back to three. 39-36. Here's a drive by Walton all the way to the basket. Can't get it to go. But the put back up and good by Deshaun Greer. Now there it is. Greer finally gets his basketball karma right. Gets the put back in. He has been a tear all night long on the offensive glass for senior. That time he's rewarded with the make. Greer's now got eight and now a steal in the corner as Walton is able to step in front of Colin White and come away with a basketball. Spartans with a chance to take the lead here, 6-18 and counting, left to play in this one. Yeah, it gets OG back in the man the man. You hit perimeter jumpers against the zone, that'll force him to come out and guard you. Walton off the wing, still has his dribble. High arcing jumper, that one's gonna be no good. Rebounds poked out, Wagner had it. Ball still loose on the floor. And finally, a timeout is gonna be granted to Ottawa Glandorf. And again, we wanna mention that our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Help you can plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. If I'm Quincy Simpson during this timeout, I'm reminding Isaiah Wilson you were really good when you're going all the way to the glass, right? Last couple times he's been driving, but then pulls up for a little jumper. Take it all the way to the rim. Our guys are crashing the boards. If you don't make it, we'll get a little put back because who is doing a better job on the offensive glass than Deshaun Greer? He has been an animal attacking it time and time again here for senior. It's a big opportunity here, 39-38. This each team has three timeouts left. And uh, also neither team's committed a foul, which that's been huge because that's come into play just about every quarter so far tonight. And don't be surprised if we see all three timeouts for each team used moving forward. This is a huge game for senior. They get the seven and five, much different than six and six, right? Mm -hmm. And they know they're a good ball club, but they have had a lot of adversity with injuries. Getting to seven and five moving forward would be huge for them. 
game, big implications. So we mentioned the RPI involved now with uh, seeding teams for the district as the scoreboard still had the uh, countdown clock for the timeout up. Now they've switched back over to the game clock, which you can see there. 5.57 left to go on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. There's a loose ball on the floor. Spartans will come away with it. It came out of the timeout. Going to go back door cut to Colin White, but as well played by Senior getting the turnover. See him picking that up on our simplified flooring replay as Ross Mag's going to commit the foul. Now see what Wilson did. Got all the way to the rim. And check out his sneaker game, Randy. Rumor has it he has a second pair of those at home. Oh, yeah? So Wilson able to knock down the first Web Insurance Agency free throw. We get one more. We're now tied, 39 all. And with a little help, gets the second. Uh, Got to give a ton of credit to Senior. Could have folded several times in this game. They are battled back, showed some grit and determination, now up by one. Yeah, Wilson now with 16 for the Spartans. The pass, that one's going to be deflected as White tried to go to Erford on the baseline. That one read well by the Spartans. Now, always got to be aware on underneath inbounds where number 22 is. Don't let them lob it up to him. Tavazzo's got the inbound in. It was actually mishandled to the intended target. But how about Grant Schrader being at the right place? Had a big opportunity to get his first points of the night. Yeah, a little short on the first one, but did not leave. Got his own rebound, put it back in. Gives Otto Glendorf the lead again. And back up by one here, 41-40. And now White with the steal, and he'll have the ball swiped away, but he's going to get a couple of free throws. Uh, everybody rose to their feet in anticipation. You're going to see it right here to steal. Good left hand. And you know he's thinking about, I'm going to rim rock in a hurry. But the quick hands of Wilson knocks it loose. He'll have to settle with a couple of opportunities from our Web Insurance Agency free throw line. Web Insurance Agency serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton as he'll hit the first. Now eight made free throws tonight for the young man. And second one is good as well. The back to the three-quarter pressure. And Colin White, the spear, the tip of the spear. 43-40, under five left to play. This one has lived up to its billing tonight. The drive, a spin, tough turnaround, and the bucket good for Walton. A tough shot by Walton, but makes the result easy on the spin and the ability to hang in the air and bury it. Down to a one-point game again. White off the angle, drives, had it knocked away, and Lima Senior comes away with the basketball. Now it's Foster that said return to center. Wilson gets all the way in. There's the kick out, and the nails, concrete, and... Decorative stamping three is a big one. Uh, how about Sean Foster on one end comes up with a big block against Colin White on the other. Ice water in the veins, big time three. It's his first triple of the night. It puts the Spartans up by two, 45-43. We are halfway through our fourth quarter. Tomasos out to the wing, needs some help. We'll find Mag. Mag trying to go baseline, gets all the way through. And the kick out to White in the reset of the offense. White off the wing, shovels a pass over, trying to answer the three, doesn't go. White fights for the rebound. Action continues past the end line, and it looks like Lima Senior will have it. Yeah, for the first time tonight, you see a little bit of doubt creeping in the minds of Ottawa Glander. Body language not great after that miss. Spartans get one long pass, get this into the front court. They've got it with 325 and counting to play. Just want to go side to side, three pointer. That one nearly stuck in by Noah Simpson. It's off the mark. 
Here come the Titans. Hey, everybody in scarlet and gray rose to their feet on that attempt. They were going to lose their minds had Simpson buried it. Tommaso gets the lob. Now they'll go inside. Erford. Erford spins through a double team, and the official is going to call a foul on the floor. Now that's been the most aggressive Erford's been on offense. Gets the lob, and then look at the feistiness by Erford. Just fights right through it, swings those elbows through. It stays on the floor, though. Second foul this quarter whistled against the Spartans. Here's White to the basket, count it, and a chance to give the Titans the lead. I'm not sure how you allow the lob toss into White. Little jab, and then they hang in the air. See the, a little bit of a push off with the left forearm against Walton? And that is a double whammy for Senior because Walton picks up the foul, and the made basket puts White at the line. It's 28 for the 6'6 senior. And now a big free throw coming here. He'll bury the Web Insurance Agency free throw. And his Titans lead this one by a point, 46-45, as we near the 245 mark. Sean Foster's got the basketball in his hands. Foster comes to the wing, flips it top of the key. This is Simpson, Simpson. Not quite sure what to do with the basketball. Has it back. No one stepped out to guard him at first. He's going to take it all the way to the basket. Gets the kick out. Second effort in the drive. That one spins all the way out. Falls loose, but the Spartans get it back. It was Greer that kept it alive again. Saves the possession right there. Greer pokes it back. Wilson gets it, or Walton gets it. And you're going to get the call right there by Erford on the foul. And again, a replace tonight brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. Pergolo, right? Pergolo. <laughs> you're trying, I know. I, I'm glad Different you're sponsor. doing that, Reed. Different sponsor. The second time they've ran that set, double screen at the elbow. They get a guard free popping out. And we're going to get a charge. See the simplified flooring Ooh. replay. I will say this, if the Pergola is here, no one would be sitting on him, everyone would be standing up. <laughs> Grant Schrader uh, takes the charge right there. Tough call against Senior. I guess the contact was initiated by the dribble drive because it, on our replay, he was not set. Just under two minutes left to play. Titans with a basketball and a one point lead. White wants it in his hands. White with the fake, gets the kick out to Mazos from deep, buries the nails, concrete and decorative stamping three. Big tray tray from a Tomazos. Heck of a night for Tomazos, none bigger than that one right there. Junior stepping up now, foul is gonna be called here as Ross Mag tried to come up with a steal. Now you see the right Forearm contact, Foster. Easy call by the official. I believe the second on Mag here. Third of the quarter whistled against the Titans. Minute 24 to play. But before we get any other action, we are going to have a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Again, our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419 225 6067 or visit Metzger Financial Services. Com. We'll take a break as well here. See what we can do for an ending. It's been a good one so far. We'll be back right after this. So brought to you by Matt's Heating and Cooling. It's your home in the energy efficient zone. Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Don't know if we're going to see anyone in a zone for the rest of the night. Probably not. Tomazos with that big three takes it to a two-possession game. Senior Pitter Patter better get at her. They're going to try to answer, and they do another huge three pointer. And again, our three pointers brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping. See them in Lipsick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Another big triple out of Isaiah Wilson. Hey, hey, big shooter. You're not just a shot taker, you're a shot maker. Sean Foster. Stepping forward, young fella in the fourth quarter coming up big for senior. Now back to a one-point game. 
your Quincy Simpson. Do you go ahead and apply some full court pressure here? One possession game, maybe get yourself a steal here. A lot of drama here, Randy. There is 49-48. And we're coming out of yet another Metzger Financial Services timeout. Well, seniors use two of their three remaining, so they're down to one. Titans, if they need them, still have all three of theirs left. Arrow also favors the Titans. Now watch a baseball pass here if senior overplays. Well, they got two on Colin White. He was running that way. And it's Erford with the basketball. Erford with the spin is able to cross the timeline with a minute nine to go. That's Greer on White, going to do everything he can to deny him the basketball. Erford comes back over to Schrader. Schrader will find Tomazos. Tomazos back to Schrader. Spartans have run, I'm sorry, the Titans have run this down to under 50 seconds to go. By the way, the next foul, as this one is poked away from White, next line of senior foul put the Titans in the bonus. Uh, great job by Greer not fouling White right there. Going to have to take a chance, though, if you're senior. Got to get a steal. Tomazos nearly traveled. Uh, that's White's not the guy the you want to foul. They got Erford right now. Erford. Holds up, finds White, down to 20 seconds to play, and the foul is committed with 19.3 left. I'm not sure you want to foul Erdford, 82%. Batman and Robin, great job by Tyson McLaughlin, making sure those two had a majority of the touches on that set. And here's the thing that I always wonder, partner, 19.3, what was wrong with the foul at about 49, right? You need time. Kay Nerford will head to the Web Insurance Agency free throw line. Official letting everyone know that there's going to be two here. Uh, do they still need to do that? Because you don't really need to tell them it's a one-on-one -on -one anymore. Uh, don't get me started on the one-on-one. -on -one. You know how I feel. First one on the way is good. I guess you need to let them know if it's two or three. As we're going to have ourselves... A Metzger Financial Services timeout. 50-48. So no matter what happens, still be a one-possession game. And the Spartans left themselves a little bit of time to try to figure out what to do here. Let me ask you this. I'm a little surprised that Ottawa Glandorf called the timeout there. He had Erford at the line, made the first one. Now he's got to go over to the sideline, think about it a little bit on that second one. You know, now you're going to talk about what you want to do defensively. I, I feel as if just let him stay at the line, turn it into a three-point game. But, you know, who am I? Tyson McLaughlin's won 300 games. But were you a little surprised by the timeout? Um, yes and no. Some coaches like it after they don't want to get the stoppage after the make mm -hmm. and stop the flow. You'd rather get it taken care of now and get everything set up. Well, it, not, nothing else matters but this free throw right here because you make this into a three-point game. Now it's awfully tough for Lima Senior. You know what they got to play for. They can't play for a two. They got to shoot that three. Looks like OG is keeping everyone off of the line. Yeah, smart move. That way nobody commits a nope. silly Change foul. Your mind. They're going to drop Mag in there, and I'm sure one of the things they talked about in that timeout was do not foul anybody inside that line right there. It's Caden Erford who's been held to four points. Will make it five as he hits the second Web Insurance Agency free throw. 18 seconds to play. Here come the Spartans down three. Uh, do you, uh, timeout by Quincy Simpson. They're going to have it on the baseline right here. So now you talk about fouls to give, right? Mm -hmm. You know that they have to get the three. You let them inbound it, foul them, make them do it again. Or do you just do let them one to give. You just let them shoot a challenged three? So I, I'm a, of a believer, too. If you're up by three and you have an opportunity to put someone at the free throw line, mm -hmm. go ahead and do it because now they're going to have to get that second one, an offensive rebound, put it in that there's a lot more that they have to do to get it. But... It's going to be a lot of fun watching forward. Is, is it bad of me to root for a made three so we get overtime? <laughs> I want to see this thing continue. 
And once again, we want to tell you that our timeouts have been brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. We also didn't see a lot of them, but we want to mention them one more time. Our dunks tonight, when they have been few and far between, we were promised a lot more. But our dunks are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Devils, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Well, maybe we can do a couple post-game. Give you the mini basketball, let you there hang on the rim a little bit. They're going to they're gonna bring a ladder out for me, right? Senior out of timeouts now. Officials again have to wait. They have the clock for the uh, timeout on now. We're set. 13.8 inbound comes in. See what the Titans elect to do. They may try to play this out now. Yeah, it's going to be Foster going to let it launch. Foster in trouble. No timeouts. Fires away. Can't get it. Titans come up with a miss, and that is going to do it. What an exciting night of basketball here from the Supreme Court. Our final tonight will have the Titans of Ottawa Glandorf snapping a two-game losing streak to Lima Senior as they win 51 to 48. Now, sometimes you get the, these big ball games that don't live up to the hype, but this one definitely did, right? It did. Let's give them about an hour's rest and bring them back out. Let's do it again. That was so much fun. Both teams are going to have a great year from here on out. Uh, we're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we're going to head to our Lima Chevrolet Cadillac postgame show and also get a word or two in with our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. All that coming up when we return here at WOSN. Well, exciting one here from the Supreme Court. 51-48, our final is... Ottawa Glendorf snaps two-game losing streak to Lima Senior with a big win tonight. We want to tell you that our post-game show is brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. We also have to mention the Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. That is the young man standing next to our Miles Holiday down on the court, Colin White. Big effort for him tonight, and now he's with Miles. On a tremendous atmosphere here tonight. What was it like getting a, a great win over a, a really good senior team? You know, it's awesome. Lima Senior OG, it shows out every year. You know, we have a great time playing this game. It's really fun, especially here in the Supreme. A timeout, you're coming out. What was the game plan? How'd you guys limit them on that three-point shot? You know, we just wanted to run them off the three-point line. You know, we... I, w I was kind of in foul trouble the whole game, so I, I just, on that last possession, I took uh, you know, one of their freshman scores. You know, Foster, Foster Katie is a really good shooter, so you know, just running them off the three-point line, and then me and Kate had a trap at the top, and you know, it just worked out. Yeah, 29 points for you tonight, big-time atmosphere, big-time game for you. Uh, at point in time, did you say, I got to take care of the offense a little bit for it? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, I know Kate and Grant went out there. They're both in foul trouble, so. You know, I got to carry the load offensively, but, you know, couldn't do that without my teammates. You know, they just find me in open spots, and, you know, just knocking shots down. Does it ever get old playing big games? No, it doesn't. It's awesome playing big games. I could do it every game. Hey, your Buckeyes won earlier today. You guys get a big win here today. Let's make this half-court shot. What do you think, buddy? Let's do it. All right. Absolutely sensational. Now, one of the closest uh, attempts we've had from our half-court shot this year. Again, 51-48 uh, the final. We also want to uh, mention uh, uh, Grady Tomazos, maybe honorable mention, the night he had chipped in with 13 points. Two players ended up in double figures tonight for Lima Seniors. Isaiah Wilson led the Spartans with 19. Sean Foster added 10. And again, our post-game has been brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. We want to thank everyone for making our night possible here at Ottawa Glandorf. Been a very busy night. Tyson McLaughlin's got a lot going on, also serves as the athletic director, but gets a lot of help here at OG each and every time his basketball team takes the floor. So 51-48 is our final. So for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, 
There she is. Thank everyone for watching High School Basketball in WOSN.